Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us see some important questions in advanced VLSI subject. Let us go through it module wise. So here is the syllabus for module 1. In module 1, it is related to ASICs. So we can easily expect the first topic as full custom, semi custom and programmable ASIC question. So this is very very important. Also in the previous exams related to advanced VLSI it is asked. And also uh, we have a design flow diagram of ASIC here in the first module that is a flow diagram that is very very important uh, in even in interviews if you attend on VLSI they will ask you to explain which are all the steps we are going to follow in designing any IC so this is also a very important question and the next topic is related to adders you can see here data path elements and adders so these adders is also an important question there are four to five adders uh, which we can expect one or two adders in uh, question paper and also you can see booth encoding is there related to multiplication how it is going to reduce the number of iterations required for the multiplication is expected as answer so these are the four very important questions and also the fifth question you can expect any other thing let us see it later coming to module 2 the very first thing he here is related to placement routing and uh, flow planning the goals are there we need to understand the goals and objectives so uh, you may expect this question in exam and also related to routing there are three concepts here floor plan placement and routing just goals and objectives you can write point wise uh, they may ask only floor planning goals and placement and uh, routing goals and objectives separately also and there is a placement algorithms here one is the min cut algorithm which is very very important you can also expect this question and then IO planning, clock planning and floor planning related to uh, planning is concerned. So this is also a very important question. You might have seen this question also in uh, the model question paper. Then there is one more flow diagram that is related to physical design. Uh, the previous one which we have seen is ASIC design flow, the complete flow. And then coming to the back end that is physical design, there is a flow diagram here uh, that we may expect in this module second module and also coming to routing there are routing methods so global routing methods can be asked and how the global routing is going to be done between the blocks can be asked so these are the five questions which i am predicting as very important in this module uh, from this you can expect easily 12 to 15 marks coming to module 3 module 3 is verification related so the system verilog uh, test bench and how the construct of that will be so here the very first question is you need to understand verification process how actually it is we need to generate the stimulus and giving to the duty taking the response that is the verification process and then coming to judging how actually the testing will be through coverage that is your verification process and test bench components can also be asked as a block diagram then we have different arrays in system very large. this question is also a very important question how dynamic array associative array queue will be used with example they are going to ask and also different types of arrays like fixed array packed array and unpacked array can also be asked that is the second question and third question can be a constraint random stimulus generation and what is the role of that that can be the third question here and one more question which i am going to predict is type def enum and user defined structures uh, so enumeration type is a very very important topic in system relog so that question can be asked and simply uh, a easy question we can expect is data types with examples all the system relog data types added with verilog like reg wire and also logic and int integer real type time type all these are the different data types uh, even the class is also a data type in system relog so this question can also be expected this is very very important Coming to the next module that is module 4 we have procedural statements and routines that is task and functions. So here task and function differences can be asked are some examples uh, related to task and functions how we are going to implement can be asked and also the interface construct is very very important. So how the interface going to be used and what is the purpose of that can also be the important question here and we have assertions as a topic here. So uh, one question from task and function one question related to interface will come and also assertion is very very important here so one question we can expect from assertions also 
and again coming back to the test bench related thing uh, we have a timing related topic over here in interface we'll be having clocking block and how the scheduling of uh, events will be so those things can be explained so stimulus timing and importance is again one of the important question here and other than this you can also expect arguments routine arguments you can see over here uh, how we are going to connect the uh, how we are going to pass the arguments to the function and task can also be expected coming to module 5 randomization so the very first question is random number generator and the constraints how we are going to put constraints to control the randomization that is very important we need to understand this constraints so for this what you need to do you need to learn some example codes how actually the constraints can be written and how rand and rand c can be used what is rand and rand c can also be asked here a random number generator and the constraints we are going to put to control that that can also be asked and there is a, a concept of coverage functional coverage and uh, code coverage so the second question is various functional coverage strategies we are going to follow how the different strategies help in achieving the functional coverage and again a very simple question related to coverage is explain coverage types which are all the different types of coverage we have again code coverage functional coverage and in uh, different types of coverages like line coverage toggle coverage those things can be asked as general uh, so you can learn which are all the different types of coverage this also and then we have a concept of cross coverage in functional coverage that is also an important topic here uh, so here you can expect uh, these questions and one more thing we can expect here is coverage bins and uh, cover points so particularly uh, how how the coverage bins are going to be written and how to cover uh, what is the use of cover points this question can be asked in module 5 so these are the very important topics and some questions you can expect in exam since these are asked many times in the previous exams also uh, coming to module 1 the fifth question we can expect is related to ios you can see ios cells and cells compilers are there so related to ios cells you may get a question as a fifth question and these are uh, sufficient to get pass in the subject and you can also score if you uh, prepare for all these completely but the thing is since it is a theory subject you need to write the elaborated answers and also you need to underline some important topics in your uh, in important concepts in your answers so that easily evaluator can get to know your answer is valid with respect to the question and questions may be having two parts and clearly please go through the question while writing the answer and writing in point wise also fetching more marks and you need to write the examples uh, clearly and also the diagrams so this is about advanced vlsi uh, please go through this and all the best for your examination and also for other subjects please subscribe to the channel so that you will get a notification when the new video is uploaded thank you